Dude, this sucks. I'm not an expert at making music. About a month ago, I uploaded a video showing off how I got to make boss music for a mod of a farming game called Stardew Valley. And you guys... You guys like that one. Thankfully, there are eight bosses in the game, and I've made a song for just one of them. Just one. I need... I need seven more. God damn it. Today, we'll be tackling this fella. His name is Goobins. His name is Goobins. That's his... That's his entire... His name is Goobins. As always, I just want to say I am absolutely not an expert. I do this for fun as a hobby. I taught myself how to do it really recently. So if you're about to comment something about how I don't know what I'm doing, trust me, I know already. I'm just playing around. Also, just to clarify, this song isn't actually in the game yet. They're going to kind of be added in big bursts. So it's not the game yet. But I'll let you know when it is. All right, without further ado, here's how I made Jelly Junction, the theme of Goobins. Okay, so before we get into the process, I'm just gonna, I wanna address a few things. First of all, what program is this? This is FL Studio. Second of all, I said at one point that I don't like to use free plugins because I, they're very expensive. And then everyone lost their minds about how FL Studio is so expensive. Like, oh, he says he doesn't wanna spend money, but he uses the most expensive. For I said I didn't want to use expensive plugins. I feel like the actual software itself is a pretty good investment, so I got that. There is a free version, but you can't save your projects, so you kind of have to just do everything in one go. And I should do that anyways, so maybe I could have gotten away with just the free version. But I don't want to risk my computer crashing and that making me just like a, a sad, sad boy. Also, a lot of people were like, oh, why do you keep saying you don't know what you're doing? Like, don't t sell yourself short. That's because I'm scared of negative comments. They scare me, so I figure if I bring myself down enough, then maybe people will be like, okay, I don't have to tell him his mix is shit because he already knows, because I know. Okay, good talk, everybody. So this is Goobins, this is for Goobins. <laughs> this is for Slimy Goobins, Slimy Goopy Goobins. And I had a fun idea for this one. I thought, okay, this guy's not threatening at all. Like, I, I have trouble with him, but just because he takes forever. He's the first boss, he's not particularly threatening. He looks like an absolute goofball. He's just a slime glob. So I decided that I wanted to go less epic and upbeat and energized and more just kind of like groovy. This kind of funky. A little funky, a little junky. Some junk in the trunk. I'm done. I'm sorry. And I kind of wanted to make it a little weird, but not like scary weird, just like quirky weird. So let's, you know what? Let's just go ahead and start. The first thing I did was grab a few sound effects from the game. So listen to this. It's so unbelievably quiet. So hopefully you can hear it. My air conditioning just came on. Hold on. Shut up. Listen, like the, there's this one little slime bloop. Uh, there's slime squish. That's slime squish right there. These are the, these are sounds that the slimes make in game. These are the slimy Stardew Valley sound effects. That was a lot of S's. And then there's slime die. That's the sound a slime makes when you kill it. When it dies for good. So I made it in a fun little song. So we have those three little sounds to play with and I just kind of interspersed them at various points because I thought it would be fun and quirky and fun. Okay, so let's start with the beginning. So this is the one I wanted, this is the part I wanted to sound kind of like weird and spacey. I had this idea to structure it as this weird alien sounding bit and then like a moment of silence that transitions into just like groovy funk out of nowhere. And, and I thought it sounded really fun. So I made these kind of like weird esoteric chords. And the, there's some fun chords. If anything, this was even easier than like any chord progression I've ever made because my goal was to make it sound weird. So I just threw stuff down randomly and didn't care about like, that doesn't follow music theory, whatever. I had a fun idea. So then I just added some kicks to like give it a rhythm and I EQ'd them so that they would start like pretty subtle and then like fade in. And then right here, they start to get more and more present. Oh, 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 look at that. Oh, they're so present. God, it's like Christmas, they're so present. I'm sorry. I did the same thing with the chords, so they sound muffled at first, and then over here. Oh, oh, present. Oh my God, oh my God, Santa's here. Santa's here, Santa's here. You get the gist. This is an experiment that I tried to run, where for, this is how I do side chaining manually, because my brain doesn't understand how to actually do it. So I can change the volume of like the sound. So I can make it, of this chord, I can make it loud like that, or I can make it silent, like that, when the bar is at the floor. So then I had this idea, couldn't I just make these constant 
chords and then like physically chop them into fun little bits. So then I got this. You hear, you hear that? It's fun. It sounds so fun and, and like quirky. I made a fun little discovery over here that if I animate it like triangles, it makes it go like brrrup. You hear that? Isn't that so fun? And then I just repeated it. So now we've got this. And then boom. I should talk about how I got all these fun sounds. This kick is again pulled from this pack. I, I okay, a lot of people accuse me of like lying. Apparently you need to pay money for this. I was serious. I, just, I promise you I don't remember how I obtained this. I promise. I probably got it in high school when I first got FL Studio in like a fit of activity. The only one I remember buying, I bought Serum, uh, which is like a synth plugin, uh, which ended up being a great deal because uh, I never use it and I don't remember my login anymore. <laughs> So, very cool. It originally sounds like this. This is the kick I use for literally everything. This exact kick. And it sounds punchy and gross for now. So I would made it sad and boring. And all quiet. And then I added crush, but way less aggressively than last time. Because I don't want this to sound super chip y So it just kind of made it a little more lo-fi I guess I don't really know and then the pad it's 3x oscillator this is just like a free synth plugin and I used this like saw wave and then just absolutely obliterated it with EQ because without it prepare your ears oh that's actually way more tame than I thought it was never mind so that's the beginning portion oops or is it the beginning portion there's one more thing and it's it's this right here and, it, and this is an extra synth that I just like automated to kind of come in gradually leading up to this first quote unquote drop. It sounds like this. Please hold. See? Oh, it's coming. And then it's gone. And then I just added these little side chainy bits to make it have a fun little rhythm. Like that. And then I thought it'd be really funny to make the transition to the next section. This sound. So that's the, that's the transition. And now we lead in to the groove. And the groove starts with the same kick from before. Just a basic kick pattern, just every, every beat. But then I added this. I didn't want to use a snare because that's boring. I wanted him to sound quirky and fun. So I found this percussion thing that sounds like someone, I don't know, like knocking someone on the head with a wooden stick. I'm really grasping here. And then after eight counts, we're going to bring in those silly little slime sounds I was talking about earlier. So we have, um, I added this little kind of squelchy, that's an awful word. I added the slime squish sound uh, to the, the percussion to make it sound like this. It's subtle. It's subtle. It, but it's probably a lot easier to hear on like headphones with computers. But it adds a little bit of squish to that snare. And then I use these little boops as hi-hats. Which sounds annoying right now, but when it gets drowned in the mix, it sounds fine. And then that's our transition point, is a little drum thing with another splorch. And that's going to go into the next section. The next task was just make a groovy chord progression. And I'm usually not good at this, but I'm serious. Like, I'm so proud of this chord progression. I think it's so fun. So the base of it is it starts with this. Plus, like, isn't this synth so fun? I was just looking through stuff in, I think this was uh, GMS. Yeah, GMS, this random free plugin that I was scrolling through, and I found Cosmic Shans, Cosmic Scenes. I'm assuming it's Shans. Doesn't it sound so wibbly and wobbly and silly? So that's that's what we're using for our synths. So the, the base idea of this first part is you have this. Boom. You have this chord that then goes... Two five one. If you don't know what two five one means, every like chord, I'm gonna try to explain that. I don't actually remember it very well. I think it's that in a on a scale, every note is assigned a number, and every note has a chord. So like in the C major scale, the C is one, and then D is two, and then E is three, and so on and so on and so on. Every scale has like certain chord numbers. So we are in, we're in D right now. But that's the thing is it's not a two, it's not a two, five, one for D. It's a two, five, one for A sharp. So a, if A sharp is the one, 
then C is the two and F is the five. And while there isn't technically a five in there, it has that feel to it. I don't know, I'm just guessing. Again, I don't know music theory. I know which people are gonna come for me in the comments because last time some people did. Again, I don't know music theory. I'm trying to like explain this in music theory terms, but I don't know them because I just put it down because my brain said to. So I have this and I have ba ba ba. Isn't that a nice resolution? I know this is a two five one. I'm so confident this is a two, some form of two five one. Um, and then the only other difference I made is to make this transition more fun from here to here. I added these little step downs. See, it like kind of steps. It's like, whoa, we're slipping. So that's our first bit. Very fun. And then I just kind of, I don't know what change that is. My brain just had to do it because it's a fun little resolution for this chord. Well, I guess it's not really resolution. And then we repeat. But this time we add more notes and an internal melody, just like last time, remember? With the dragon and whatnot. I should just play it. I don't know why I'm like doing it manually. So this is what the chord progression sounds like. So this right here is the internal melody. And I love to add an internal melody to chords because I think it sounds so fun. So now we have, isn't this chord progression so fun? What do we think, guys? Tell me it's fun, please. So now, oops, I should, I should start from like here. Isn't it so empty? The chord progression's funky, but it's it's so empty and when i was making this i like heard this and i was like oh god it's missing so much it's missing so much to be able to sound good turns out it was really only missing one thing to sound kind of coherent and that is a bass line bass lines are so important and again since i'm going for funk i i picked this like strummed bass from flex again freaking flex coming to clutch it's so real it's like i'm playing a guitar gingerly into your ears so now we have our instrument and and the the i i would explain how i made the bass line but if i'm being honest i just kind of felt it out and this is what it sounds like isn't it so fun sounding I like that part. In the future, that's how we will ingest music. We'll plug our brains in and it'll go. Well, what a lovely tune that was. And this changes everything because now listen to this. It's not too much. But it's it's just enough. And then we'll and then we'll fill it out a little bit here. It's just enough. And I want it to feel empty because that's what I think gives this song so much character and makes it so funny and silly. Is that it goes from like pretty full right here with the synths in your ears and like, oh, where is this leading? You would never expect to just go you would never expect like after this build, I was like, oh, it's so weird and techy and synthy. And then the slime farts in your ears and then you have funk. It's something that you never expect. And I think it gives it so much character that it goes from so full to so empty in like two seconds. Just listen, I think it's so fun sounding. I think it's so silly. I, I, I enjoy it. If you don't, I get it. This is a, this one's weird, but I'm having a really good time. All right, now let's talk about what changed in the drums. And the first thing is I added this like ride symbol that sounds like this. A little, a little ride, I think it's fun. And then I've got, of course, the percussion, but now I made a second version of it that is quieter and pitched higher. So it's a little, like you can hear it. Isn't it so fun? It gives it a little more rhythm. So instead of just being, that's so fun. And of course we gotta get our slime sounds in there. So now we have this. Isn't that so fun? He's right behind you. Gubins is right behind you. Oh my God, turn around. Very fun. And then of course we still have our same chords and bass. And then I was like, well, let's, let's give this, this poor, this poor boy right here is pulling all of the weight, all of the melodic and the harmonic weight 
everything. Mr. Boy is pulling all the weight. Let's get him a friend. And that friend uh, copies him and plays pretty much the exact same thing, but with a different rhythm and some new notes. So fun. Yay. This one, I don't know where this, I don't remember where the sound came from. It's very fun. Oh, it's Sforzando. Is it from Earthbound? Yes, this is from Earthbound. This is the Rhodes sound font from Earthbound. Listen to these fun chords. This is what we've got. But then when I was listening to it, I was like, this is fun and I like this. But I feel like the change can be more dramatic between this and this, you know what I mean? It's just kind of like adds a few things. It doesn't feel like fun and happy enough. So I added this, okay. So I found this in, in Kashmir right here, this sound. And I was like, I could turn this into one of those like, like, like you know the Disney Channel scenes where kids are in like a detention class? It's literally Lemonade Mouth. And they start like hitting the desk or something with pencils and they make like a song and it's super overdone and stupid. I want to be like that. So I wanted to kind of like hit the hidden pencils against the desk rhythm. So I took this and then I really played with the velocity. So it's like hard, soft, medium, soft, hard, soft, medium, soft, but over and over again. So it sounds like this. You hear that? Isn't that so fun? Not really, it's just kind of hitting sticks, but I think it's really fun. Just let me have this, all right? There's not a lot of fun stuff going on in my life. It's, I'm in a rough spot, but let's boogie. <laughs> so now it sounds like this. And I think it adds a lot. It's like, with, with it not there, there's not a lot of energy. And with it there, it, it, it's, it's really moving. It's really moving. And that's like the majority of our song covered. But we still have to get to this this new section. And I, I wanted to get kind of weird and silly with this section in terms of chords. So I, I still stuck with this instrument because this instrument is an absolute godsend. But then I just, I the way I did this one was I didn't plan, I didn't plot. I was like, okay, I'm gonna put this chord down and then I'm not gonna think about the future. I'm not gonna think about how it resolves. I'm just gonna always put what chord my brain says to go neck pretty much like the music version of when you type a word into your phone and then just hit predictive text over and over and over again and it writes a story for you so i have this chord right here and i was like i don't want to step down so my brain was like go like that make it go bum bum and then do it again but make it sound sad this time which i d did i obliged i am but a puppet for my brains went someone is like dropping a hammer on my ceiling i'm so confident that's coming through the microphone because it's so damn loud whatever fun chords everyone let's pay attention to the fun chords god i'm like the freaking optometrist do you see mickey you see mickey laser in your eye so then i and, and i gave him a fun rhythm instead of it just being even i made the second one coming a little earlier so it sounds like this oops not yet oh spoiler and then Resolution, and I wanted to make it come a little early to mix up the rhythm instead of it being like, boom, and then wait. On beat, I want it to be off beat because Gubins doesn't follow the rules, he's quirky. And then like a little melancholy bit to lead into the next part to be like, oh, Gubins' plight is not over. So now I have fun chords. And then for the drums in this section, I kept this because I love it. And I want it to sound kind of raw. And since I want it to sound raw, I added, I used only slime sound effects for the drums. Drums is a strong word. I just played the splat every beat and then the, the die sound at the end of every count with a few little bloops thrown in there for good measure. Already almost the whole section. And then after that, I just added another bass because, I mean, we have to have a bass. The bass carried the last part absolutely shamelessly. And then this one, again, it was kind of a similar rhythm because my favorite thing to do with basses is long note, octave, boom, boom. That's my favorite thing to do. So obviously I'm gonna do it all the time. Ooh, I don't venture there. We're gonna let Gubins get a little free form because what is slime? if not 
a free form material. It's so free form. Um, and then the second run through, once we get to the end of this section, um, okay, this is gonna take a while. Blah, blah, blah. I, I hate doing that. And then, and then let go, stop. I brought the kicks back in. So it goes like this. Bring some rhythm back into it. And then the second time going through the chords, I decide, let's add, <laughs> you're never gonna guess, an internal melody. Right there, just some fun notes. Isn't that so dang fun? I think so. And then, finish her, and that's where our song's gonna end, right there. Kind of abruptly, because I think it's funny. And, and we're gonna finish it with this. A death noise, and then it's gonna loop. And that's, that's it, that's the song. Oh my gosh, that one was actually way quicker than the, this one's shorter and there's less stuff going on than the dragon one. So this is just gonna be like a shorter and less interesting video. Plus I just explained it less in depth. I pretty much didn't do anything is another way to say it. But either way, I had a blast and I hope you did as well. I thought this was really fun. If you enjoyed this, please let me know in the comments. I like to make music and even though I'm not very good at it, I have a lot of fun doing it and I would love to do more of it on the channel if you guys enjoy it. I had, a, I, I always have fun. I always have fun with this, but it also gives me stress migraines. So I guess it's kind of a give or take deal. But yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in a few days. Goodbye.